Okay, so I'm gonna be lazy and post a picture like right from my computer today. But like I'm kind of late on posting my last video because I usually post on Wednesdays. But yesterday I was tired. Um, I was also filming something for Campus Movie Fest on my campus and I'm almost done. I wanted to finish. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, I wanted to finish within one day. So that's why I kind of was just like, oh, I want to get it done. I don't want to have to think about it. Um, let's see. One of my things that I thought were really interesting is the fact that a friend of mine told me on Sunday that if you were really interested in seeing the best picture nominated films, there's a pass for AMC. And so today I actually looked that up. And if you go on to like AMC Entertainment, um, they show it under amcentertainment.com backslash bps backslash which you can it's the best picture showcase 2010 oscar nominees so between on february 27th which is i guess that's like next saturday and march 6th which is the saturday following they will show um all of the best i i guess the best nominees and everything like that in certain at certain places or maybe like all the AMC's you have to actually go to the site to check yours out um, like it lists everywhere from alphabetically from Atlanta to Washington DC on certain places and I hope that's not it okay never mind they do they have listed where I live so I'm happy yay um and if you're not like an AMC movie club person, it's going to be expensive because you can buy it online for $60. If you buy it at the, um, this is if you get the two day pass and you buy both days. Cause I don't know if they're going to show all 10 of the actual films like on both Saturdays, but if you pay for both days, because of course, number one, you're not going to be able to see all 10 films in one day to begin with. It's going to be $60 if you pay in line, 50 if you go pick it up at the box office. But if you pay for a one day pass for either February 27th or March 6th, it's only $30. Then if you're a movie watcher, which I think I am, I have to find my card. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just like see if I can get a new one. I mean, all you have to do is probably just run to one of the AMCs and apply for one and they should be able to hand one over. Um, if you're a movie watcher, you pay $40 for the two day pass at the box office, or you pay for one day $25, which is either February 27th or March 6th. Also, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about, which I've been meaning to talk about for a while, um, yeah, my lighting's horrible. I'm, again, I'm doing this from my computer, so I actually have a light on. See, if, you, if I move it over here, you can see a little bit better. Uh... I have a light on my face and it was casting shadow and I'm still getting a shitload of shadows. It's ridiculous. Um, but my other thing I want to discuss was what, you know, what started the whole like frozen yogurt, like serve yourself craze. Cause yeah, I've, I've given into it a few times. Like I went to the place, Yo this place, Yogurtopia. I went there today cause I had class and it's this avant-garde cinema class and I had a really huge headache after watching some one of these films because luckily I'm not epileptic. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. But I have this feeling if you have epilepsy and you might take a class for avant-garde cinema, not just at my campus but possibly other ones, you will possibly have an attack because certain films are very spastic and have images flashing by so fast with bright lights I could just see someone going down <laughs> during this. And other people in my class have actually had headaches. Um, we have our midterm coming up, so I'm, I'm just, I had to go to class today to make sure we did like a sample test or whatever. But um, I decided when I get really stressed out, I'm like, I wanna have ice cream. I already have a little ice cream in the refrigerator from a dollar cold stone day that we have near my campus. But I went over here because 
I enjoy the idea of getting the little serve your own yogurt thing. It's really delicious. I mean, the only problem is if you have no self-control or have no sense of like weightage, you could pay up the butt. <laughs> because when I was there, I mean, I have this. This is, I wonder, this is actually a 16 ounce canister and I know I didn't fill it all the way. Um, I think it was actually 10 ounces because they show you, you know, you have to put it on scale with the yogurt and the toppings inside and they said it was like 10 ounces and that's already pretty high but I think it's less than a pint in reality I have no idea um and that was with toppings and with the yogurt and it came out to no more than like three dollars and some change and I had a coupon for 20 percent off so that was pretty cool but this one kid filled up a bigger one and 16 ounces there's already like two sodas he filled out a huge one and ended up paying $16 because he paid for his and a friend of his. And the friend was like, well, mine's like five. <laughs> and he kind of almost went berserk. Um, I'm just curious, where did these things sprout up from? Do people really like them? And in that way, has anybody ever thought of the fact that this actually might be taking away jobs? Because, yes, it's actually a good idea for a franchise if you get it in the right spot. I mean, place one by an elementary school, a middle school, a high school, a college, somewhere where people are going to want ice cream, no matter what. I mean, it's actually been chilly around here and people still actually go in and get yogurt. But, you know, if you kind of randomly put it in a city, as long as you're putting it in a place where maybe there's a club nearby where people go afterwards, it's going to work out. But, like, wh what do people feel, feel about this? Is it great? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it, like, even though it has, like, non-fat, like, attached to all of them, is it actually kind of probably ending up making you eat more ice cream or frozen yogurt? I don't know. Well, that's just some of my thoughts for today. And...